Hi everyone, it's Madge and I'm back with another home decor video. I know that we've all been staying in and hopefully staying safe and probably trying to find ways to tidy up around the house and kind of get things reorganized and maybe even some spring cleaning. I know I've been doing the same thing. And one of the things that I did was reorganize my pantry. So my pantry is not very big and it had gotten a little cluttered and a little chaos. And so I wanted to find a way to clean it up and reorganize so that I could utilize that space a little bit better. So I wanna share that with you today. So let's get started. I'll show you what I've done. And here's a look into the pantry before it's organized. As you can see, there's a lot of different things in there, but it's semi-organized. There's There seems to be things put together in groups, categories, paper gets together, cereals together, collagen, condiments together, baking items, vitamins, and a few medicines. We have canned goods, coffees, uh, a few random bags, things for my puppy, trash bags, trash can, paper goods at the bottom, drinks at the bottom, and the cutest thing of all, Marley. He loves to be in all my videos. So this is a look at the baskets and containers that I'm going to use to organize the pantry. And a quick look, do you guys ever look at YouTube videos when you're working around the house? I love to do that. So I was watching a, a home, uh, home decor video. And here's uh, something that I need to do. These are some jars that I got from Home Goods, and they have the stickiest stickers. Have you ever noticed that? So I have some Goo Gone, and I'm gonna show you in just a little bit how I use that to get the um, glue from the stickers off. Okay, and these baskets here I got at, at home, and they're two different sizes. So I chose the gray tones there to just kind of go with the decor that I have. Now these are plastic baskets but they have the uh, woven design. So two sizes there. And then the shelf I got at Home Goods. I'm gonna show you how I use that. Some fabric baskets from Target Threshold and these wicker baskets with the handles. I got the handles because it'll make it easier to get the baskets in and out when I want to uh, take a peek or get something out of them. I love the wicker baskets, they're so pretty. And I love the design. They have the uh, wire frame inside. And uh, yeah, they're just really nice. And it is gonna go a long way to make the pantry look nice and organized. I also found these signs. I thought they were the cutest thing. It says foodie, indulge, and snack. So I'm gonna find a way to incorporate those into the uh, design of the pantry. I also found these glass jars one day when I was at Home Goods, and I found uh, 12 of them, I believe. And um, when I went in, they were not even out on the shelf yet. They had them on the on the little cart, and they were getting ready to put them out. But I snagged them because I I knew I could use them. So here's a demonstration of the Goo Gone. So it has lemon oil in it, and here I'm just scrubbing off the top of it using my nail. It, it looks like I'm scrubbing harder than I actually am, but uh, yeah, just kind of lift it off the glue with my nail, and the oil really uh, penetrates and makes it easy for you to be able to, to get it off. So I'm just wiping it off with the paper towel and it comes out so clean and shiny. I love the look of it. So if you've never used Goo Gone and um, you shop at places with um, sticky, very sticky uh, price tags, that's the perfect thing to use on them. It just cleans it off really easily. Okay, so I'm starting to take some things out of the pantry now. The broom, the trash can, 
and some of the things at the bottom there. So I decided to do just one section at a time. I know sometimes when you're uh, reorganizing, um, I've seen it where you just take everything out and start fresh, but that would be really overwhelming for me. So I didn't want to have a lot of stuff all over the place, so I decided to do one thing at a time. You can't forget the toilet paper, of course. So I just took everything out, swept it out, and just cleaned it really nicely. And I'm putting the baskets in, and there's Marley. He's checking it out to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, so I'm trying to see how I want to put the baskets in, how they're gonna fit best with what I wanna do. So I think I'll use them this way. And that way I can fit more things in the bottom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring it out and I'm gonna put some of the paper goods in paper towels, and also the toilet paper. I'm just gonna open it up and just uh, put it in there, and that way we can have it available when we're ready. I also have some already in the bathrooms that I keep under the cabinet for easy use. So these are just extra. I think everybody wanted a little extra during this time, right? So that fit nicely. So I'm gonna move on to the other basket. So in this basket, I'm gonna put our drinks. We don't keep a ton of extra drinks, but it's a nice size to put whatever we have just to keep it nice and neat. So we have some Diet Coke, some Gatorade or Powerade, and then moving on to the next shelf, I'm gonna take everything off and I'm gonna give it a nice clean wipe down and then I'll find a few baskets to put it back in and, and make it nice and neat. So here I'm trying to figure out which baskets are going to be able to fit Marley's uh, dog treats in and his supplies. So the smaller one wouldn't work, so I'm going to go with this gray one. Just putting it in nicely. Everything seems to be fitting. So you just kind of try it out, guys. It's no science. You just um, get some different sizes and you just kind of try it out and see what works. And for the other basket, I decided to put in our extra bags. So I'll put the trash bags in. And we always have the bags that our groceries come in. So I keep a few of those and we just tend to use them for different things in the house. Sometimes I use them when we have uh, plastic or, or anything that we're gonna recycle. I kinda keep it in the kitchen and just fill up a bag and then take it out to the big recycle bin that we keep in the garage. So I put those in neatly and put the basket away. So there we are, nice and neat, reorganized. It's already looking a lot better in there. So next I'm taking out all of our vitamins and medicines. Luckily we don't take medicine other than ibuprofen or something like that or allergy medication. So just kind of taking that out and I keep it in here because it's pretty convenient. So we just have some plastic bins that we had it in at our other house. And I think I'm gonna downsize these because they're taking up quite a bit of space and we really don't have a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go through and see which ones are expired because we don't really use it very quickly. There's some cough medicines for the winter, vitamins, allergy spray,
And there you go. I'm just kind of going through the bins. There's some other allergy medicines that we use. So really just going through and just kind of seeing what I want to keep, what we need to keep, and kind of organizing it to make it nice and neat. And getting rid of the things we don't need any longer. So I tried them out in there and then decided that those fabric baskets might be perfect and I can get everything put into them and they look really nice. So moving on to the next shelf, I'm taking everything out. These are our canned goods and coffee items. I think there's some pasta. So I'm just speeding it up a little bit. So we're taking everything out. I'll go in and I'll wipe that counter down as well. I'm just making everything fresh and clean again. So now I'm using the flat baskets with the handles and I chose those because I want to be able to see the canned goods that are in there. So I put vegetables on one side and then soup and fruit and rotel on the other side, kind of sauces and things like that, tomato sauce. And moving on. So in those uh, baskets, the light colored baskets, I put some of the mixes that we have and the coffee items. Wiping it down again and filling it up again. So this is the shelf that I got and I thought it would be nice because I'm going to use those glass jars on that side. So I tried it out in the store and I can make two tiers of the jars for display. So I'm trying to figure out the best way that I want to use them. And I think I'm going to use it this way and I know it's open but it's okay because the jars are going to be in front and you're not really going to see what's um, on the bottom of that shelf. And it works out really good and they fit really, really nice. And you'll get to see it later. So I'll take off the stickers and, and get it cleaned up. So I'm fitting them in there now just to see how I want to, want to organize them and arrange them. And there you go, two tiers and it looks really good. And just fitting those other glass jars that I cleaned the stickers off of. And now I'm kind of testing out those little signs just to see how I might want to use them. And a little plant, adding a little greenery just a little decor to make it nice. And this is what it looks like on that shelf. So next, I cleared off the, the other shelf above it and I just added our coffee syrups and another little sign and I put all of our um, paper wraps like um, aluminum foil and cling wrap and uh, sandwich bags in the other basket with the metal items there. So it's starting to look really neat, guys. I like the way it's looking. I added our um, drink server and the glass cake plate at the top, another side, and the cereals up at the top. And I have little containers to put our cereal in as well. So it's moved along pretty quickly and looking really nice. So I just took the glass jars back out and now I'm going to uh, get them cleaned up and washed so that I can put in our dry goods. So I just ran some hot water with some soap and just getting them in there and getting the stickers taken off. It's pretty easy if you've never tried it. Also to put um, things that need to have stickers off of glass you can put it in hot soapy water and that really helps and makes it easy to take out uh, to take the sticker off. 
So I'm getting them all washed up and dried. Just taking some paper towel to be sure to dry it inside and out. Really good on the inside because I'm gonna put the dried goods in and you don't want to leave any moisture because then it'll get moldy on the inside when you close it up. I think they're just really pretty. It's just gonna make nice, easy storage. So in this first one, I'm gonna add some of our dried oats. Have you ever tried uh, Bob's Red Mill Oats? They're really good. I like the steel cut oats. So I'm leaving them all open while I fill them up. That way, let any of the moisture continue to dry just in case. And there's walnuts. I add walnuts to salads and oatmeal and cookies. And next I'm adding dried cranberries. Those are also good in cereal and salads and on oatmeal and cookies. If you make cookies at home and even on yogurt, I love dried cranberries. And they're good as a, a snack along with um, nuts. If you wanna make your own trail mix, just add some dried cranberries. And here are some pecans. Those are my husband's favorite, so I never have a lot of those. He always comes through and gets a handful. But it's a good healthy snack, so I don't mind that. So here's just some granola that I'm adding in. I have a little bit left over from two different bags, so I'm just adding that together. I love granola. I love it on yogurt, and I even put it on chia pudding. I put granola on um, oatmeal and almond flour. It's a good substitute for regular flour. So I have almond flour and coconut flour. And I love to make cookies with almond flour. I have a recipe on my website for chocolate chip cookies made with almond flour. And they're a keto recipe. So they're low carb and so yummy. I love the smell of the coconut flour. It smells so fresh. Okay. So now I'm going to use these um, last couple of jars for pasta. We don't eat a lot of pasta, but it looks really pretty, so I'm gonna put it in there. So I have two kinds. I have the um, regular spaghetti, and I also have some bow tie pasta and some egg noodles. And here's some quinoa. Do you guys like quinoa? This is the white organic quinoa that I get from Walmart. And they also have black quinoa, but I tend to like the white quinoa. It reminds me of rice. So I'm just putting on all the lids again, and I'm gonna organize them on the shelf. And we're almost done, guys. Thanks for hanging out and watching me organize my pantry today. We've all been home and uh, I've seen and watched a lot of organization um, videos and I've been inspired. So I hope this video inspires you as well. And it doesn't take much to kind of go in and organize your space. Sometimes closets and storage areas are the spaces that um, get disorganized the fastest. So it really made me feel good to get in and just organize this spot. I've been wanting to do it for a while and since we're all staying home and staying in, it was a good project and I had plenty of time to do it. So here's the final look. I have the uh, cake plates and uh, drinks on the top. I'm gonna get another basket to put in the chips or popcorn, but yeah. So this is the look. There's the indulge sign and I, I put the plant in there with the snack sign and my chia seeds. Everything looks so nice and neat and organized. And my husband loved it too. So in the uh, white slide 
a tray. I have some seasoning packets and there are canned goods and our trash bags and Marley's treats and there are the vitamins and a few of the uh, little medicines we have, allergy meds. And those are lunch boxes or lunch bags down there. Drinks and paper goods. And I'll put the trash can back in. And it's all cleaned and wiped up and ready to go. So I love how it looks and I love how it feels. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll be coming back with more videos of organization and home design. You guys have a great day and live refreshed. Thanks so much for watching.